all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. So, uh, before we get into this, y'all, this is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go watch part one. Come back here. And, um, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Per you. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into the video. Next, Mr. Shagani Ice T, we got Nicki Minaj versus the girls. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't really think the girls were mad at Nikki, but they, uh, the girls had a lot of stuff to say. Siding with bitches who had plans to end you is crazy. It's a thin line between being supportive and dick riding. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Yeah, that's what she said. Be careful from fake smiles. The industry is so weird, if only y'all knew the half. Y'all always watch shit out now. And I'm just like, wow. Okay, at first I thought she was, you know, being a friend, saying, why the girl smile on your face, Liz? But then it's just like, the industry's so weird. Yup. So is you mad that Nikki didn't put you on the song? Oh, you already got your song. Or are you just mad at the girls? Like, like I said, use these ads, because y'all girls just be talking up the side of the water. Oh, no, bruh. It's just so hard to put the pieces together. And then Nikki said, boom, I'm glad you mad. Somebody please inform me in the comments because I don't know what the hell he talking about. They didn't necessarily say Nikki, so I, how he know they talking about Nikki? Please, somebody in the comments. What I don't know what he talking man? about. What is going on in these streets? Girl, these girls start pointing fingers at each other. I'm tired of this other shit. Y'all need to let us know what the fuck going on. Y'all want to put us in the group chat and let us know the name. I agree. Who the fuck does? Me and all the girls she get the song with. Running shit on the queen mix while bitches talking shit in the group chat. And ask their fave bloggers to say mean shit about us while pretending not to see these hoes. Talking slick and pulling the bad guy. And I'm just like, well, bitch, what group chat? Can I see this group chat? Who was talking slick? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. And they done showed the girls. Ooh, that was so messy. The most dangerous decision in life you can make is choosing the wrong side. Y'all don't watch the superhero movies? Evil prospers for most of the movies, but never win. The evil stepsisters were loving life until they weren't. Everything in the dark, everything comes to light. So, child. Somebody said something and did something. Something I have. I don't know, girl. We gonna find out. Somebody gonna break one day and really just start talking shit. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating it. Hey, well, that's all I got for the Shagani Ice Tea. Let's go on and get into this man. First of all, okay, we have Jordan B versus Karina and Cuban Dog. I thought we was never gonna see this girl again. I thought, I said, you know what? Woo, 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 okay? But I be damned, she bad. So Cuban Dog took it upon herself to post a video of her with J.D. Young's son, which is Jordan B's child. Now she knew that was going to make that girl go off. Now why would you do that? And her caption was, Junior is so cute, he's his daddy's son. And I'm just like, oh God, here she comes. She's like, y'all really be fans. You posted a video of my son that you had to sneak in when I wasn't there by Janita's house or Sinitra's house or whoever it was, honey. She said, but you know, he's cool. He is cute and he has fans and you one of them. So she didn't stop there and she said, try to get off my baby daddy with that trash ass shit. Stop the cap. I've been silent too long. <laughs> no, you haven't. Baby, we... <laughs> we always hear When were you know. ever silent? Let's be real. But anyway, I'm tired of this shit, but I keep forgetting he had fans. And I guess she's talking about J.D. Youngin. But sweetie, you was his number one fan. Let's be real. So, whatever. That's what you do. You are and acting like. I'm just like, oh, okay, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about at the end, but she called the girl a fan. <laughs> then Cuban comes back and says, you ain't getting no money off, Jay. Let him rest. <laughs> I'm 
Like, damn. Come on, laugh your ass back to the mental hospital we was already at. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. Yeah, this drama be too much. That's why I used to skip it. Girl. Why? I'm gonna pray for you because you're really crazy. <laughs> and please don't. <laughs> He's so messy. And please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. And please don't wish death on me. You are really crazy. Cause I ain't did nothing to you. Pray for her. <laughs> <laughs> he killed me not reading the damn thing correctly. Gone. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, you big girl because that talk is powerful. I almost said, shit about me, either, so let me keep it moving. So, of course, I can say, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I hope this gives your music some clicks, she said, because that, cause that music ain't doing nothing. Pray for yourself, you broke ass alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> At least she ain't wish like, that damn, because She do be drinking a lot. She, she looked like she was drunk in that picture with the video with the baby, and then when she was crying on the thing with uh, J.D. Young, and I'm like, this bitch. <laughs> so then Jordan goes, and I guess this is supposed to be Cuban calling her. She said, Girl, you is weird as fuck and upset. You want to argue behind my baby daddy who is dead? Girl, get the fuck on. I got to raise his son. You are a non factor. And all of us was really trying to figure out why you was at the funeral anyway. Girl, this shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was asking that question too. <laughs> I was like, Why she there? But you, you hey, I ain't got I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't gonna lie, Jordan was on the roll, baby. She was cutting up. Then she said one thing that was real, and you can't deny that because she did have that man baby. So for you to have somebody, well, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you can have a baby and it don't be real. They just they just drop their seed off. Girl, he didn't want that woman. He had to deal with the fact that he got her ass pregnant, but I do not think he wanted her. We can't speak for ourselves, so I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Anyway, so a supporter said, What are y'all cool? <laughs> What happened now? <laughs> everybody just, everybody just be lost. I admit I be lost too. And so Jordan responded with, never was cool. Them hoes was bumping coochie. You ain't never seen me in a bitch face. Now Cuban comes back and she says, you're the devil. <laughs> bitch, okay. Bitch, you wish death on him and his baby. And the last day you, you was with him, you went to jail. <laughs> I'm like, damn, they is fighting. <laughs> Like, they are really... I ain't gonna lie. They the type, like, you come around them type of people, man. You feel that energy. I know her energy is so bad when you get around her. It feel bad through the through the screen. Her blue light just be... Just going the hell off. That's why I got on these glasses, girl. It, it'd be too much. I would never want to be around her. I would never walk into her house. I wouldn't want her in my car. I don't need your energy. On the internet, cause this shit is hurting me. Some of the shit they saying. You, oh, you was not with him. Light ass bitch. You was just a hoe with a wig. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Girl, you got sent out by your way. And she didn't stop there. She said, bitch, you said it called somebody broke when you was out there crying about a lawyer trying to get all Jay money. And then here she called, oh, bitch, I ain't gotta cry about nothing, bitch. Bitch, get your fat straight. I'm like, damn, that she in her face now. They finna swing, they finna swing. I don't have to do all that because he is Jay's only son. So I'm guessing she said no matter what, she'll get the money because she know that he left the money for his son. But I guess she gonna dibble and dabble in that money unless he gave it to his mom and then to hold the money to get to the son. I don't know what he did because I don't see the boy. But I see the fuck. I love to talk in front of the whole so you can get the wrong information. Mama, come correct. And to close it off, this is what sick me up a motherfucking hill. <laughs> Bitch, the city girls that came out and took off a your ass was right in my phone. <laughs> Not even the city girls. That's too big of a comparison. <laughs> but then, <laughs> Glorilla. Glorilla that came and ate your, ate your ass <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I would have stopped talking after that. That is a funny because that shit is true. Gorilla just came out and pitched on everything. And Cupid, who, when's the last time somebody said put Cupid on? I ain't heard it. 
Gloria the Gator ate your ass up and left you where the fuck you started. Come on now. <laughs> he is not laughing for that shit. Girl, we may not see eye to eye, girl, but bitch, I see eyes with you now, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you came and cut up, bitch. You bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So child, I think that last, I think that last little one hit home with you. She was saying, "Bitch, I'm gonna just go." You been showing that shit after that? Cause she still crying. To Cause she ain't lying. This day, that's what legend says. But anyway, I don't know, Cuba. If you good, girl, <laughs> please tweet something. <laughs> anyway, so then, child, Karina. All I got to say is I forgive every fuck. I'm not on no hateful worry about another bitch, none of that. And I'm saying this because y'all need to let this shit go right now while I'm saying this shit. I forgive you for everything you said. That's some real ass shit. Like, my baby gone, yeah. She feeling that death shit, like, nigga. She, she still got a heart up in there. That damn Jordan B, girl. Yeah. Jay gone, and I should hate you like a motherfucker, but that shit too much energy. I'm good off all that shit, like you got it. And the only thing I can do is pray for you. Cause I really feel bad for your too. And I, you know what I'm saying? My she sounds like she breaks. I really be on demon time, like. <laughs> I really get crazy. Like, I really am battling with some real life shit. Ooh, child. So the only thing I can do is just let shit go. I'm trying to be better, overcome all this shit, and fight my demons. And I feel like this is the fucking step to that shit. Because I swear I be on demon time 24-7, like, all the time. Can't no do me without me spazzing. And I gotta stop being like that. that and I ain't gonna lie, I already done said too much. So I'm gonna end it with. I don't know what she I'm on. Still praying. It's giving she on something where she just really, you know. It's 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 crazy out here, but gotta gotta admit. And I'm gonna overcome all this shit. Yeah, you know, this guy's making watch. God got me. If he ain't got nobody, got me. And you can see that girl is hurting. Cause you know that was the last girl he was with before he passed. So I'm sure you know stuff was still fresh. It's just she's, she's hurting. So then she even went and she liked the picture of JD Young's son. And you know I feel she do want to be in that child's life or whatever case may be because she had an attachment to Jay and then, you know her child passed. So it's kind of like you know what? Boom! That could have been me with his baby. I'm sure they were gonna probably try again. And, uh, honey, Jordan is holding that shit over their heads, baby. <laughs> she does not let them see her I child. got his only you son. She, she is not letting up. So then she came and she said, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do. Stop speaking on me. So, child, if people start calling her bitter and all this other stuff, which I do feel like, girl, this girl, you wish death on her baby, and it happened. This girl is trying to say, you know what, I forgive you. And you still have all that hate in your heart. Jordan, I'm just telling you, girl, you need to be careful. I know you may be mad at these girls and all this other stuff, but just be careful. Because something really big is gonna happen, child. And it's really gonna, it's gonna happen. Something's gonna wake you up. And I hope it ain't too much, but something's really, I thought it was gonna be, you know, I thought the Jay situation was a lot, but girl, I see you still got a lot in you. And, um, I just really hope whatever it is, it ain't gonna be worse than that because it's it's gonna be something, girl. And I just I'm praying for you, sis. Yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. well if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's be keeping it. Okay. Next I don't ever have much to say because they situation so dark, y'all. It's <sighs> I'm, I, I'm 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 I can deal with some dark things, but boy, they situation dark. It's so dark, and that girl Jordan is so dark. That's why I be ready to skip her at all times. And in the comments, let me know if y'all want me to skip her again because I don't be missing shit. You know what I'm saying? Not at all.
For the bucket, we have Six Hundred Breezy and Queen Key. Ah. Now this right here is really sad because um, it's dealing with his now late girlfriend, Raven. So, I'm just gonna go off stuff because I went in a rabbit hole on TikTok and everything and baby, this story is crazy. I don't know what to believe now. So, 600 Breezy took to the internet and he posted this, which is his late girlfriend Raven's text message, right? And he was confirming her passing. Going off what a blog said, they were saying that was their final text message, okay? So to me, if that's true, if that was her final text message, why didn't you contact somebody? Why didn't you call a friend or family member and say, hey, this is what she sent me. Y'all might want to go check on her, okay? Because that's how he was delivering it, like that was their last message. Because then on his post, he wrote, baby, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to us? I told you I was coming back home, I promise. So to me, it, it seems as though he was out of town when he got that message, right? I can pause it and read everything he said. He started saying, take mental health serious. Because he said his baby. I don't even think he was out of town. I think that they had, they was into it. And, uh, I don't know, I'm keeping it. It was hurting. His ex-girlfriend, supposed to baby mama, Queen Key, came out. And she tweets, Nigga trying to act like ain't the problem, man. Beat it. Boy, fuck you. Her death ain't about you. I see what she's saying. Because he has said some hateful things to this woman. But you're talking about mental health. This is one of the things that she posted that he has said. And fuck them kids. I'm feeling fuck them trippers. I'm feeling that bitch started that room because I ain't want her. I ain't want her. I want them kids. She running around to me talking about this gay shit. Bitch, fuck you. Be a single parent. I don't give a fuck if I if I am or ain't the daddy, bitch. So, honey, let's dig into this a little bit more. So, it started floating around. My thing is, I just wish he'd get a damn paternity test to find out if them kids is his or not. And I don't know if she's denying him the paternity test. But at least take the shit. I mean, if you know you had sex with us, a possibility, obviously, for her to be pregnant. Just take the damn test. And if they are your kids, take care of the damn kids. Appreciate the follow, Jada. On TikTok saying that her cousins were coming out. They were getting mad about the situation, like saying he's faking, he's lying. Listen, all of this is alleged because I ain't trying to get, you know, sued or no shit like that. But listen, so he got her phone, right? But the messages was chopped. Her family asking him to give the phone back. He's not giving the phone back. And then on top of that, he's not posting when that message was sent. Like he's not posting the stamp date. And then you go to her, her Instagram or her Facebook and she don't even type like that. And on top of that, she they said she was found in her apartment, but she said that she was at the bridge. And then on top of that, she's talking in past tense inside of the messages. And then on top of that, those messages, those messages were so detailed, like from the time, like from when she said it's 5 p.m. here. Why does that matter? Like, like the more details that come out, it's looking real fishy for him. I don't know, though. And now that I'm looking more into it, that girl been dead since August 31st. They didn't discover her body to the six. You posted her messages yesterday, which means you she been text you this. You didn't give a fuck enough to have authorities go and check on her, but you post the messages that she sent you on Instagram for clout and sympathy. Like I been knew he was lame when he decided he wasn't gonna take care of those three kids that he helped create. But this is like the ultimate, like this is like the ultimate lame shit you could ever do. Like clout is really a drug for some of y'all. I agree. I him taking care of them kids, I just feel like <clears throat> he needs to get a paternity test <clears throat> to know if them his kids or not. You can't just take care of some kids that ain't yours. So if he get a paternity test and find out the kids is his, then absolutely take care of them kids. Fuck is you doing? But um, that whole this whole situation with that happening, the bridge situation is weird because I feel like that's something that she texted him before that because uh, she said that you know, or not she, he said that it was, um, well, in the message, she said that she, you know, did not want to be here. And, and, uh, you know, in, re in regards to basically she wanted to do that, you know, so this has happened before. So I'm saying that might've been before. And then she ended up doing the shit for real. And I don't think it was the same day as that bridge situation, especially if they found her in her apartment and finding her on the sixth, 
which won't make sense about the bridge. Like, I don't know if she had been saying that before and, you know, he just didn't take it serious or what. But <sighs> rest in peace to her, man. Uh, when it starts to get a little weird, he goes and says, no, that text was from months ago, not now. Oh. But why in your caption you said, baby, I told you I was coming home. Should you have already been home then if that was from months ago? Right. And if the girl said that she was getting ready to jump off of a bridge, how come they said the family had not heard from her for days, which is not like her? So then they did a wellness check and they found her in the house. And how did you get a phone? And then they pointed. Mm. So the shit that happened with her, excuse me, the text messages she sent to him was from months ago. They found her in her apartment and he had her phone. What the fuck? Ooh, I ain't even gonna insinuate what you know. I think we all thinking, but that's crazy. Out, as you can see, I'm gonna put it right here. The way the text message was set up and written is how he writes the ends and then the period and then starting the sentence with end. She, she ain't never did that. Oh lord, y'all, something ain't right. Oh no. Oh, hell no. And my thing is, if that was her last text message to you, and from your caption, you saying, I was coming home. When you got back home, wouldn't it have made sense to go over there if you ain't heard from her? And you said Not you did everything in your power to help this girl and all this stuff, but you didn't know she was passed away from August 31st to now? So they, her family couldn't get in contact with her because this nigga had the damn phone. Well, and obviously she was not alive, but they couldn't check her location or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays, some wild shit going on, bitch. I, I have several locations I can check. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. She at home. But if you got her phone... Ah, cause that would mean you either took her phone before that happened or you went there, seen her, got her phone. And then, you know, her people did the wellness check and then that happened. Ah, something ain't right. Something ain't right. And so then he goes up and he shows a message saying that his baby mama, that his girlfriend wanted to kill herself before when his baby mama hit him up saying that he had AIDS, as you can see right here. Tell that gay deadbeat I'm finna be, I'm finna be put on child support and some more shit. You must be like 19 and his interest, I don't know. That bitch sad as hell, he fucked up. Ah. So now I'm thinking, I'm finna eat his ass up, whatever blood test he want, he can get it no matter, oh, matter of fact, let him know, I'm gonna show him a blood test once he show me his blood test, stating he don't got AIDS. Did she finally go get tested and she had? Oh, Lord have mercy. It's too much. Nah, that's a mess. They need to sit down and talk to him. They need to have a conversation. Cause something ain't right. It's not. I wonder what this autopsy gonna say. Oh yeah, she gotta get an autopsy. Let me do that to the police. If it ain't about me, mm -hmm. let's keep keep next. Okay. Next one, okay, we have Reggie versus Kim Kardashian. Now baby, I was up on my bed, looking at my phone like, oh bitch, this tea is hot. <laughs> but I tell you, Ray was going in and I believe Ray. I believe Ray is innocent. And I believe everything he was saying because Ray really don't bother nobody. Ray yeah. really just chill. 
So I was like, how did all this even come about? How did it start? What happened? Ray had spoke about this back in May, trying to clear his name, whatever the case may be. And he's been holding on to this for like 20 years. And it wouldn't have came back up if Wack 100 would have tried to scare Kim to thinking there was a second take. If this is what I'm getting, I think I'm right. If I'm wrong, fix me in the comments. So, you know, it brought all this back up now. So it's like, you know, the media keeps throwing this out and making him like he's just this person. They slandered his name and just so much. So Ray has brought it up now. And everybody's probably like, well, why now? Why not now? You know what I'm saying? If right. you've been looked at as this person who did this to Kim or whatever the case may be, and you're really not, then yes, tell your truth. And people need to believe him. He was not the mastermind behind all this. It was Kim's mama. Man, they knew that shit. They knew he wasn't no mastermind of that. And Ray J then goes and says that they would still be together if Kim wouldn't have stole $800,000 from his sister and his family. So anyway, child, Ray ends up going on his Instagram and just airing everything out, okay? So in the caption, he very much said what I just told y'all, the, uh, uh, the $800,000, then he said the, the lot of text man was a fake. He's a fraud. He didn't even go to school for it. He's not. If you Google his name, John Cron or whatever his fucking name is, it's the same thing. They <laughs> said that he is a liar. He is known for giving out fake polygraph tests, girl. My God. And I can see them doing that shit, too. These, these Hollywood people be doing some weird shit when they get their stuff in some mess. He mm -hmm. then goes and said that they never sued that guy, Steve, I think, whatever, for five years because they made that up together. And Chris, she is I, conniving. I want to know why would Ray J be all... Hold on. Why would Ray J be in cahoots with all of this drama? Martha, that man, that probably know how to make some... Probably because of the bag, though. Because, I mean, clearly that's... He up, you know what I'm saying? Just shake and get rid of some shit. Y'all seen that movie, Who Killed Sarah? Whatever case it be. She like that mama. That mama made sure she took care Absolutely. of that family. Whatever she had to do, she kept <laughs> them the name good. She did it. And they kill her all. And baby, that's what I feel Miss Chris be doing. She she been slutting them girls out for a long time, allegedly, from what the streets have said, word of the curb. So anyway, he goes live, and this is what uh, Ray J said. He had a whole PowerPoint projecting everything ready. So uh, before we get into it, y'all can hear what he said. Mind you, he showed the contract. He showed everything. He did. His signature, her writing, her agreeance to it. The mama even made them do the video three times. How you do that? That's crazy. I would never be in cahoots with that. Like, yo, and, and watched it. What? Watched it to make sure it was like hitting on some shit. Like, let me make sure he hitting it right type shit. Man, what? That means you sat there and watched your daughter have sex. Uh -uh. You let them do it three times. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. The first one was too raunchy, so they had to do it again. Get and up. what do you mean, raun? It's sex. I am in confusion. Crazy. That's crazy. And the word on the curb is people say she been doing that stuff. She did that. I believe it. I believe because she he said he didn't know shit about nothing. And she said they could capitalize off this stuff and make money. <laughs> I don't know what the f you think this is, but you have f with the wrong person. Period. You have f with the wrong black person, period. With the wrong black man. Oh no, you done the wrong one. I, was I just... made a video on this. I didn't get all of of this. He has several different days of clips, but I got a good bit. Gonna handle this legally, right? And just hit you in court and just get what I'm deserved from all of y'all being foul and trying to defame me, and trying to make me look bad. When you know what's up. In one hour, I'm having them send everything I got. We going through receipts tonight, Chris. We going through receipts tonight, Kim. Everything that I got, that I I'm going to let them see. And it ain't nothing. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say sex tape, number one. Sex tape, number two. And guess what? 
the third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, it called Santa Barbara Sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother and said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a frog. It's so crazy because Kanye like can put up everybody. It's like Chris is like, uh, I don't know, ashamed of what they did or something. And like, if I was her publicly, I would be ashamed too. That is crazy. Like to come up with that idea and, and granted, everybody is good off that, you know, what they did. I can't act like, you know, she didn't put her family in a healthy, a wealthy, excuse me, position, but that don't make it good. You know what I'm saying? That don't make it like, oh, that's still a good, like, I'm about to do that with my daughter right now. Like, <laughs> like that's not how that go. So, man. Tech message that he talked to, right? And then like us to do it and everybody will be mad. But get this get a glory. Fuck that glory. Let's talk about it, dog. Y'all can hate me all you want. I'm doing this for my kids, man. I got nothing to lose for my kids. Check it out. So I'm assuming you know the full story. This is just me being honest. Oh, five, right? How it happened. I'm trying to be super cool. I'm just, I just want my name to be clear. I'm here for peace and happiness for my kids' future. That's all I care about. This isn't, and like, that's all I give for. Let's put it all to rest, bro. I'm in the hospital. God wants this to happen. Absolutely. Let's hop on. When you get out the hospital, listen, I'm going to be here for a week getting over pneumonia. I'm sober and I'm honest in here all by my self. And then keep going, keep going. Much love, yada, 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 all that shit. Is it too late to call? Yeah, nigga. I'm up whenever. Keep going. Let me know when. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, we got all night for this. Why does it look like she bought you? No. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm searching Kim Kardashian's. Come on, yo. Like, what are y'all doing? Y'all y'all folding under pressure. What? You go. It's him arguing with everybody else that was there for me. No, it's pulling up like a... They weird. trying to help your motherfucking She blocked me, huh? Oh, that's dope. Wonder. It don't it's matter if she blocked me. Go Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she just blocked him. She nervous. Oh, keeps going. Kim nervous. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Type in. Right there. First oh. one. Bam. Slow down. Y'all slow down. That's the problem. Y'all moving too fast. And my phone you get over. No, I didn't let you. You want to see the sex tape contract? There go the sex tape contract. There, there it is. There's the whole thing, right? That's the set. That's my handwriting. Damn. That's it, right? This is the sex tape full contract. So Where that's my right? handwriting. Here's what happens. Kim is rushing me. Her mom's rushing me. Let's get this done. Come on, like, let's get it signed. Kim's with me while I'm signing my contract. She's like, hurry up, babe. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and help you. I'm going to sign your deliverables for you so you can just rush it through. So Kim signs the deliverables, exactly what we about to sell to Vivid. It's her signature. I mean, it's her handwriting. Giving, giving Steve the, the, giving him the right to sell it. Like, here's the deliverables. And look who's who did he sell it to? Signed my deliverables and was in the room. Look who, look who was in the room with me. Look who wrote exactly. That was a big bug. You saw that? Shit? What? what was that? Here we go. What the f was that on my on my on my face? That was a bug, huh? Yeah. That was, that was like a. F I ain't never seen it like that. Damn, that Chris Jenner and them trying to send everything at me. And baby, when I tell you, he was showing messages. He wasn't leaving out nothing. If you ask me, I believe him. Because it's the same way everybody be acting that deal with them. Pete got his ass up out of there because I feel he, he was like, this is something I don't want to be a part of. I got to go. That was a whole bunch of... First of all, I would have did that as soon as Kanye had some fucking cartoon-ish character holding my head. Or whatever he did. Uh-uh. Mess going on. I don't know. A lot of y'all had to be in that lie, baby. It was a lie. And I, girl, I hope Ray J get his money. I hope Ray J uh, truth come out because, yeah, them Kardashians, they, Damn, it's man. something going on. It's something going on. And he might be the one to crack it. 
on Ryan Shim. Well, it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping. Okay. Next up, okay? Huh? We got Meg Thee Stallion versus Nicki Minaj. And this is messy if you really look at it. Imagine telling someone you don't want to drink because you were, you know, at the time. I also didn't get this. Oh, no. Possibly pregnant because you were actively trying to have a baby. Imagine that person saying, oh, girl, you can go to the clinic. Imagine posting photos that you are pregnant and the person doesn't even like it or say congratulations. But then when you post that Beyonce sent you flowers congratulating you, the person then tries to attempt to send you flowers thinking, oh, I can use this opportunity as I use everyone else. Oh. She'll post that, that I sent her flowers. I didn't even let them shit in my motherfucking house. <laughs> Y'all. Now nah, I get it. That nigga Minaj, hey, The girls are fighting, bro. I don't care what nobody say. The girls are fighting, honey. So, baby, the fans start turning up. And one of them said, no names were mentioned, but you were the first to respond on if the shoe fits. And then she said, so this person didn't mention me? And not only that, Megan goes and says, if someone asks you, you can respond, right? Or that don't apply for every user on Twitter. If someone don't directly at my name, why they be confused when I reply? Then a, another commenter said, this person be so fake for real right now. And then Megan responded, this person, as in the person who pressed the ad button, y'all not this crazy. So somebody used the ad button and said, so somebody used the app button and said, at Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj is accusing you of encouraging child abortion and child endangerment with alcohol. This isn't something to stay quiet on. And then she said, lie. I know y'all probably thinking like, okay, well, so where are we going with this? Why do you think that they might be really beefing? Because I'm like, they did that Hot Girl Summer song. It was real cool. They were like besties. And everybody's like, oh, this is just so genuine. But now they just mysteriously just don't hang out anymore. Don't talk, don't nothing. Oh, I Child, this shit be business. People are not friends. Hell, me and Zoe did a video together. It was amazing. We had a great time. After that, I ain't hear from your motherfucking ass. I, it was business. I, I, don't, I don't think that, I don't think it's like that for everybody like, a lot of times you get up, you meet these people, y'all have a good cackle, and after that, baby, I am back in my corner. I don't know. It's chilly, and the girl- She ain't kicking it with Beyonce, neither. I me this information, I'm just like, I'ma see what y'all think. So I'm guessing Nikki had tweeted, oh, that's word to your doggy. And as you know, Mary got <laughs> the wow. dog, right? And then somebody else, the girl by the name of Shay, had tweeted out, I never got it till I saw something, but the girl never dropped a tear on those interviews. Nikki mine, boom. And then it says, D drops tear. Nikki goes, and sh she allegedly tweets, yes, Shay, check mark, correct. Now, again, these are supposedly posts and deletes, okay? So, I don't know. Something, something is going on. Oh. Yeah, I think Nicki Minaj do a song with a bit, and then after that, girl, it is, I'll see you later, because <laughs> it was business, but if some, if, if, if people move in a certain way and Nicki don't like it, baby, she gonna let you know. She ain't afraid to either, and if she wrong, she'll say she wrong, you know, she just one of them people. Mm -hmm. What? I don't know. Let me leave it alone, girl, because them phantoms is crazy. Okay. They be ride or dies, baby. Okay. All right. Well, y'all, let me know in the comments if that just. I am a barb and I'm a part of the beehive. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, I ain't with none of the beef. None of it. I support all of them. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, that's all I got for me the man. All right, y'all, this is, I've been watching this shit for an hour. All right, I'm ready to get my ass out this chair. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and actually comment it. Good, uh, uh, bye.